For part two of lesson two, we are going to be focusing on word problems. And specifically, we're just going to be looking at division word problems. So even though we're going to know automatically that we're using division to solve, we still want to look at this table to identify the words that clue us into the fact that it's a division problem so that when we do have mixed word problems, we're able to identify that key information. So the steps for solving word problems. The first thing that we're doing for annotating is we are highlighting the operation. So I'm highlighting the operation. Step two is I'm identifying key information. So I'm circling all numerical values, so all numbers. Then we determine what the total amount is. That is going to be the first number in our division problem. And then we're determining what each part is. And that's what's going to be the second number. That's what we are dividing by. And the key part that a lot of times we're going to see is the word each. That's going to be a big clue for us. Again, though, checking for these ones as well. So number one, <clears throat> a box of snack size crackers, pa cracker packs weighs 28 and a half ounces. Each snack pack weighs th four and three fourths ounces. How many snack packs are in a box? So first thing is we're highlighting the words that determine the operation. So I'm looking at this chart seeing if I see any of those words in there. I see the word each. So each tells me it's going to be a division problem. Then I'm going to circle the numerical values. Every single time we've got a problem, we circle the numbers. So I see 28 and a half, and I see 4 and 3 fourths. So which one's the total amount in the box? 28 and a half or 4 and 3 fourths? The box weighs 28 and a half, so that's the first number. So 28 and a half divided by our second number of 4 and 3 fourths. We also know that 4 and 3 fourths is the second one. It's the part because that's what it's being divided into. Each is 4 and 3 fourths, so dividing by 4 and 3 fourths. Now we go through our steps. First thing is I'm going to rewrite it. So 28 and a half, I'm doing 28 times 2, which it's okay if you want to use a calculator to help you on that part. 28 times 2 is 56 plus 1 is 57. So we get 57 over 2 divided by, converting here, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19 over 4. Then we move on to our second step. So our second step for solving is we are keeping, switching, flipping. So keeping the first number as 57 over 2, switching it from division to multiplication, flipping it from 19 over 4 to 4 over 19. Now we're going to look at our diagonal to see if there's anything that we can simplify by. So I'm going to get my two highlighters, highlight one diagonal, highlight the other. So here we should be looking at, does anything simplify? I'm going to get out my math resource packet and flip to the factor chart, which is the first thing in the page. So if I look at my green diagonal first, 57 and 19, 19's on the front. 19 only divides by 1 and 19, so I'm going to flip to the back. 57 divides by 1, it also divides by 19. So their GCF is 19. So I'm going to rewrite. 57 divided by 19, well the 19 matches up with 3, so 57 divided by 19 is 3. I put it in the same spot, so top left. On the bottom right, 19 divided by 19 is 1. Do the same thing with the other diagonal, 2 and 4. Maybe you can do that one in your head. If not, I'm using my factor chart. 2 and 4 both divide by 
2. That's the greatest number they divide by. So I'm showing that I'm dividing these both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so the bottom left is 1. 4 divided by 2, if you can do it in your head, great. If not, since 2 is on its own, that means 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Last up, I'm going to multiply across. So 3 times 2 is 6 over 1 times 1 is 1. You can leave it as 6 over 1, or that simplifies to 6. So what we're resolving for? 6 snack packs. And if you weren't sure what we were solving for, the question at the end tells us how many snack packs. All right, let's try another one. Number two, the soccer team has 16 and a half boxes of wrapping paper to sell. If each of the 12 players sells the same amount, how many boxes should each player sell? So first thing, I'm looking for the keyword. I'm checking this chart. The keyword that I see is each. So that tells me this is a division problem. I'm gonna circle my key information. So the numbers, 16 and a half and 12. What's the total amount that they have? Well, they have 16 and a half boxes. So that is our total amount divided by our other number, each tells us the part, each is 12. So now we're going to start the solving process. Step one, we're rewriting 16 and a half divided by 12. So 16 times 2. You can use your multiplication chart if you need to, just as a reminder, right? You've got this chart, 16 times 2 is 32, plus 1 is 33. So we get 33 over 2 divided by 12 as an improper fraction. We just write it over 1. So divided by 12 over 1. Now we Keep it, switch it, flip it. So keeping the first number as 33 over 2, switching it from division to multiplication, flipping it from 12 over 1 to 1 over 12. Now I'm going to start simplifying, so I'm going to highlight my diagonals. and grabbing my factor chart so that I can get ready to rewrite what I need. So first diagonal, if I look at the green, 33 and 12. So I'm gonna to try to find this on my factor chart here. 33 and 12, they divide by one, they both divide by three, and that's it. So the highest number they both divide by is three. So I'm going to show what I'm dividing by. 33 divided by 3. Well, the 3 matches up with 11. So in the top left, keep it in the same spot, I'm writing 11. For 12, 12 divided by 3. The 3 matches up with 4. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then the other two, 1 and 2. What do they both divide by? Check in my factor chart. The only number they both share is one. So dividing them both by one. Two divided by one is two, keeping that in the bottom left. One divided by one is one, keeping that on the top right. And then last up is we're going to multiply those across. 11 times one is 11. Two times four is eight. And I'm fine with you keeping your answers at improper fraction. So what were we solving for? How many boxes should each player sell? 11 eighths of a box. All right, let's do one more practice here. Okay, the length of a kitchen wall is 24 and 2 thirds feet long. A border will be placed along the wall of the kitchen. If the border comes in strips that are each one and three-fourths feet long, how many strips of border are 
needed. So keyword, I heard it, each tells us that we are doing a division problem. I'm gonna circle my key information, so my key number values. We've got 24 and two thirds and one and three fourths. Which one is the total amount? The total length of the kitchen is up here, 24 and two thirds divided by the part each is one and three fourths. Step one, we're going to rewrite this. Again, if you want to use the calculator to help, 24 times three is 72 plus the numerator of two is 74 over three divided by one times four is four plus three is seven. So divided by seven fourths. Now we're going to keep it, switch it, flip it. Keeping the first number the same, switching it from division to multiplication, flipping it from seven over four to four over seven. And then we start solving by simplifying. So I'm gonna highlight my diagonals and use my factor chart. So when I look at this, 74 and seven. So I'm gonna look at seven first. Seven only divides by one and seven. 74 is gonna be on the back. The only thing that they have in common is one. So I'm gonna show that I'm dividing them by one and then I'm gonna rewrite over here. 74 divided by one is 74. Seven divided by one is seven. And then four and three, flipping back to the front of my factor chart, four and three, the highest number they both share is one as well. So dividing those both by one. Four divided by one is four. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So we weren't able to simplify it all. So now I'm just going to multiply across. And again, I'm okay with you using a calculator to help you with this. 74 times 4 is 296 over 3 times 7. If you can do it in your head, great. Or use your multiplication chart or multiply here is 63. I'm okay with you leaving your answer like this. So what were we solving for? How many strips? And that's our final answer.